Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to present your effects in this way. First of all, you need to go to the package manager and download Cine Machine. Then you need to put all, all your effects and uh, characters to the scene. I also have this ground crack with animation. We need to start with an empty object, then go to the timeline window, you can open it through window and uh, create new timeline. Then you need to add control track for your effects and animation track for your characters and uh, different animations. Then you can animate your character using only timeline. I made a second window for better working process. You can create as much animation tracks as you want for your effects and characters. I paused the recording to set up all my animation and effects. It's an individual part uh, and uh, also you can enable loop, looping in the playable director to make workflow easier. Also I want to mention that I use uh, post processing on my scene. So here you can see my settings. Also you can make your effects more explosive just by adding black and white shader, but in my case it's uh, blue and white. Here is how it works, but it uh, only works uh, with stand with built-in render pipeline, and you can download it for free on my Patreon page. I will left a link in the description. Okay, the next thing uh, what you can add is a camera shake, but first you need to add. Uh, uh, Cinemachine brain to your camera. Then you need to create an empty object and add a Cinemachine camera on, on it. But first you need to copy camera position for this empty object. Also you can change lens vertical fall. You can see how it works by opening the game window. Then you need to add Cinemachine impulse source and select any curve, any shape you want. Also if you want to, to make your shake three-dimensional, then you need to change velocity for all three values. Then you need to add extensions in machine impulse listener. And after add the signal receiver, press add reaction. Then go to the timeline and add a new control track. By adding signal emitters, we can send messages to our shaking animation. But first you need to create a new signal and add it to on the timeline. Then you need to go to the signal receiver, select the signal that you created, press plus button and add the Cinemachine impulse source generate impulse. Now we can check result in a play mode. Also you can add as many signals as you want. It's better to add them on the most uh, explosive moment. But it's not a finish. We can also make uh, something with uh, post-processing. You can add a new extension, Cinemachine post-processing, and select your post-processing settings uh, there. Then you need to copy your camera and uh, change post-processing settings uh, by selecting or making a new profile. I use chromatic aberration on the second camera. Now you can go to your timeline and create a new Cinemachine track. Select your Cinemachine brain there. Then add first camera, second camera and uh, you can adjust uh, what uh, camera uh, will you see. I won't just smoothly disable my chromatic aberration after finishing the effect. So that's how I present my effects, hope you learned something new and see you in the next videos, goodbye.